While I'm out skating and filming today, there's one more video I wanted to make, which is my recent hack to uh, swing to fakie. I actually noticed this a long time ago. I never really put it into practice because I was just hoping it wasn't the thing that was holding me back, but it was. And that is, I've noticed that when good skaters, Mike Osterman, Ethan Young, Masahiro Fuji, skaters who really enjoy these swing to fakies, they don't just turn into the swing. They actually do this small uh, front side swing first, and then they spin into the swing to fakie. But I just wanted to share that in case that maybe this one little detail can help you get the swing to fakie. Once again, here's how I was doing them lose a lot of momentum. But if I swing out, I keep some more momentum. I'm just not going fast enough. So I mean, it's not great. I'm still working on it, still getting better at them. But that one little swing, that one little swing out before I do the swing to fakie has helped a lot. For me, it's not actually a swing, it's more like a tic-tac because I cannot hold it up. And that's really why I originally was hoping that this wasn't the solution to my inability to carry momentum through this trick. It might not be the only solution, but it's definitely helped. Um, you can see Mike do it. It's really, it looks really good when he does it, of course, him and Ethan, but uh, yeah, I just hope that maybe this gives you something to think about and maybe it helps you with your swing to fakie as well. And I still hope you're having a great day.